Steven here with it's a hardrocklife.com. It's got done going down my mine. Mine's called the Shirt Tail Mine. Used to be called Pike's Peak Mine back in the day. As you can see, I'm standing on top of a huge tailing pile. This tailing pile can be seen for literally miles. It's pretty big. Come over here to the edge. See how big it is. I just got done removing all these trees because it was blocking up the mine. And there were about a million bees. Probably can't hear them right now, but it sounds like a swarm up in these Palo Verde trees right here. So this here is the shirt tail mine. And I went down about 40 feet. As you see, it goes down pretty far into the abyss. It goes down about at a 45 degree angle. And I went down about 40 feet, took some samples off that nice little quartz vein you see running all the way down the top wall there, that hanging wall. So that wall there, somebody took a big sample, went all the way down. Like I said, this used to be called Pikes Peak Mine, so they mined quite a bit of material out of this. Got quite a bit of copper, quite a bit of silver, and about, according to old registers or old 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 uh, documents about 4,500 pounds of precious metals uh, meaning silver and I mean uh, gold and uh, some other things um, as you can see that vein is about say about a foot foot and a half thick and it goes all the way down about 80 feet and then goes down a straight line and they follow that vein all the way down and uh, I was taking samples off that vein and uh, bringing it up here. So I'm going to go ahead and go home, process that sample, and then uh, see what we got. See if we get any gold out of it. Pretty sure we will because I definitely saw quite a bit of yellow on the walls when I was down there. So I'll let you know in the next video. Have a good day.